it is day 46 of the zombie hunter build and the surprise has arrived so the uh what we've been waiting for for the past week has finally arrived so here it is No guys, I didn't switch teams. Uh, I'm still a Mercedes guy, but I did have a, um, a truck on my bucket list that I've always wanted uh, since I was a little kid, and that is a Toyota FJ. This is an FJ40, and it needs a lot of work. So that's the new project. Um, I'm going to continue working on the Zombie Hunter, obviously. But now, Zombie Hunter has a Japanese cousin. So that's uh, the new project. So I'm going to have a separate um, series on this channel uh, for the restoration of my new FJ40. Uh, I still haven't thought of a name for it, but uh, I'll come up with something. But in the meantime, I'm going to continue working on my Zombie Hunter Mercedes 230G. All right, so uh, I'm gonna continue working on these bumpers now and, you know, put in, put in new, uh, new metal here, weld it on, paint them, and then get them mounted to uh, the back of the truck. Uh, just for the time being until I figure out how exactly I'm going to put these uh, that TJ bumper on there um, So that'll be that because I, I do want to incorporate a tire carrier. I just don't like the uh, original Mercedes carrier because These always get rotted out and this is my second truck that this happened to where this thing broke and then it broke off the latch here and was flopping around and, and it was a big mess. So, uh, you know, and you run the risk of it actually just falling on the truck, killing somebody on the, on the road or whatever. Don't want that. So uh, I do like the, um, you know, the ones integrated into the bumper of a, you know, just into the bumper, no attachments to the body whatsoever. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do, uh, change that. And then do all the attachment pieces and then start working on the interior. Um, so hopefully I'll get that all done and this thing will be uh, in good shape for the summer and I can take it out wheeling and, and play around with it. I also have to do my uh, fender flares. So I'm going to work on all those while I have the, the garage you know, nice, and, nice and dry because it just started raining after it snowed. Um, and then I'm going to work on, on that one. So that one's a basket case. It doesn't even run. So I gotta see what's going on there. You know, at least when I bought this this truck, it ran um, not well, but it ran. And now it's you know now it's drivable and everything's good. But uh, the Toyota is gonna be a little bit more intense. So we'll see. Um, I always wanted one, so uh, I do like how they look, and I like. Um, you know, you can get good ones in, in South America and have them imported here, but they're so expensive. You know, I got this one for super, super cheap, and I'll put down the whole spreadsheet of, of all my uh, expenses as I as I work with that one as well. So that's the plan. Time to continue working, get these uh, bumpers done, get them painted up, put them on, and then start drilling my holes for this stuff. I also have five bar plate that I want to, uh, you know, make, put tread plate up here. So I'll, um, I'll probably have to get it powder coated. I'll see, maybe I'll just paint it black temporarily and, and see how it looks and see how it holds up. I don't know, you know, I don't know. If I primer it and paint it, the aluminum might be able to hold up. I'm not gonna be stepping on it too much. Um, and then, you know, it'll look, maybe it'll look cool with a little bit of wear on it too. I don't know, we'll see. If not, I'll just get it powder coated, but, that's the plan right now. Time to get to work.
So I'm an idiot. Uh, I accidentally, without thinking, I put it in upside down. And I thought that this was an unnecessary piece, and I cut it off. And in reality, this part was at an angle like this, and I cut it off foolishly, thinking I didn't need it. But that was actually the part that I was gonna put over here. So, uh, I'm just gonna weld it into different sections and this. You know, there won't be one even piece. That's fine, I can grind it up later. But, I'm gonna clean this up and then weld in this piece right here. And then weld in, cut this out, and then weld in the, the rest of the metal there. Little by little, just, I guess I'll patch it. But. You know, it'd be nice if I did it all in one shot and just got it all, all done with one piece. But, oh well, a little bit more work. So here's the finished product. Uh, it came out okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end up spraying them with um, a textured uh, spray-on bed liner. And it'll have a very similar texture to the uh, kind of textured powder coat that I have on the front bumper. It'll also hide a little bit of the imperfections in here. So you can see there were some you know, the welds and everything like that. And I just ground that down, but it's still kind of bumpy and stuff. 